What's up everybody, Papa Stanimus here. Today, we are going to solve your music copyright problems on your Twitch channel. All right, I'm gonna lay it all out. It's no biggie, it's really easy to do. I'm gonna show you how I do it on my channel, okay? So hopefully uh, you guys kind of follow suit here because these are really easy methods to solve these problems and it's a lot of fun and it's really good for your channel and networking, all that kind of stuff. So uh, first things first, we play a lot of music that uh, we shouldn't be playing, you know what I mean? I mean, there, there's a lot of streams out there. I've stopped myself for the most part, you know? There's a lot of uh, a lot of music being played on Twitch where we don't really have permission to play it. You know what I mean? And you guys know who you are, and I know who I am. I, you know, it happens. So uh, what I started working on since I noticed some incoming, some some looming copyright problems on the Twitch platform, what I started doing is developing a little uh, side project, a little radio station for my stream. Right? I call it Game Rebel Radio. You can check it out at GameRebel.net forward slash radio. It's a really simple little thing that I have set up for me. And uh, what I've done is I've gone out and I've gotten permission to play tons of different music. All right, And all I do is I drop a little comment in someone's uh, YouTube or SoundCloud, right? And I say, hey, can I play your music? And uh, they always say yes. And I only use YouTube and SoundCloud because they have something that's very important. And that is an API that allows me to use a, a outside program to access those websites and pull the content and play it in a little neat little player that I have at gamerebel.net forward slash radio, right? Now, I've actually done that so much where I've gotten to a point where I actually have a music submission form and musicians come to me now. They want, they come to me asking if I could play their music because musicians are just like us, especially independent musicians. They're just like us streamers. They're just looking to get their music heard. They're just trying to get themselves out there just like us. Right? We have copyright problems with music. They need to be heard. It's like we're meant for each other. It's as simple as that. It's like we're meant for each other. It's meant to be. All we gotta do is get in touch with musicians or musicians, if you're watching, all you gotta do is get in touch with a Twitch streamer, especially one that's playing music that's on board, right? If, this, if there's a harmonious relationship that needs to be had between tons of artists and tons of streamers, we're, we're, we need to be working with each other here. All right, now, if someone says, yes, you could play my music, a lot of times they'll allow you just to go ahead and play all their music. They say, yeah, play anything on my YouTube channel, whatever you like, play it, it's all yours, all right? Now, I use a separate uh, website called zoff.me to organize all my music into one place. And I also use that as my on-screen display on my Twitch channel, okay? So uh, this website, zoff.me, it's free and it's very small, and I actually got to know the guy that built it, and it, this thing is getting geared towards Twitch streamers and handling the music, right? And the way it works is you load YouTube or SoundCloud playlists directly into this thing, and it'll just jumble all the music up, and you can put it in whatever order you want, and it'll start playing it. It's like a little radio player, right? You load all the music into it, and then the radio player just starts working. It's like magic, right? Zoff.me, you guys should check that out. Now, I'm not sponsored in any way by Zoff. I just found that, I found it through Googling, and I like it. Okay, so I mean, there's a million other ways you can use uh, like a like a, a player that plays YouTube and SoundCloud and it all in one kind of player, right? It'll pull from anything. Um, but I found Zoff to be perfect because it has built-in Twitch tools. It has a Twitch bot where people can pull up the name of the song and a link to the song and can vote to skip songs, all kinds of stuff, right? And uh, I found that to be really cool. And um, and, and the guy that runs the thing, uh, he hangs out in my chat sometimes and he'll probably hang out in anybody that starts using it that just Twitch streamer. I think I'm the only one. If anyone starts using this, the guy will probably show up in your chat and if you have any feature requests, he'll make them if they're good ideas. If they make sense, he'll make them. He wants to make the thing as cool as possible for everyone. So Zoff is my favorite. That's why I like to use that. So that's what I do. And I use a, a browser source on OBS to put the uh, on-screen credit. Now that's this is the thing that's gonna make any musician just say, yes, absolutely, you can use my music, is if you have on-screen credit. Because as a musician, as a, as a person who made something that's with the desire to have it be heard, right? Having your music show up, like visually, like the name of the song and who made it, that, which is you as the musician, right? Imagine being the guy. 
and it pulls up on the screen on a Twitch stream. It shows on the screen. That looks so cool. It's kind of like a donation in a way, but like so much more special because something that you made, it says the name of it and now you hear it playing, right? Everyone knows, you know that, oh wow, like how many viewers are watching and this is, my song is playing. And I mean, a lot of times on my stream, when a song plays on my stream for the first time, more people are hearing it at that one moment while it's being played on my stream than have ever heard it on uh, since it's been uploaded, right? Because a lot of this stuff is underground as hell and uh, it's really good. There's a lot of really good stuff out there, but a lot of it's underground and not a lot of people have heard it yet. And us as the Twitch streamer, we are the vessel for this music. We are the vessel. And the, as the vessel, this music comes and flows through us and we are clear in the copyright realm. We're good to go because these people want us to play their music. There's no way they're gonna come and try and whatever about it, you know? And if anyone ever does, you just don't play their music anymore, you know? Like, and that'll never happen. That'll never happen. Like there's, like I've never experienced any predatory music people, right? They're small, like, and they're like, oh, because if they start doing that, no one will ever play it. You know, like you can't do that and no one know who you are kind of a thing, right? I mean, I'm sure there's some dummies out there, but it, I've never come across any of those problems. And I've been working with music since 2011, excuse me, 2010 is when I got into radio. 2010 is when I got into radio. So that's a long time. What is it? 2019? That's nine years. Jesus. So anyways, this is the solution. This is how you can solve your copyright problems. All your problems are gone away as long as you ask permission and start building up a collection of independent music to play on your stream. Now, before we end this video, I wanna cover a couple other really cool uh, ways that you can get around these issues without having to do all the work or you can even combine a lot of these, okay? Uh, in fact, all of these suggestions I'm about to suggest can literally all be combined into one. You can do everything I'm suggesting uh, if you wanted to. Um, one of them is Monster Cat, okay? Monster Cat is legit cool to be played on Twitch, okay? However, if a clip is created of your Twitch channel, of your content, and then you wanna take that clip and put it on YouTube, and it has Monster Cat in the background, they're gonna ding you, and they're gonna take the money for that video, unless you have that $5 a month license, okay? So Monster Cat, five bucks a month, problem solved. The music playing in this video right now, Monster Cat. I paid five bucks a month for it, okay? It's problem solved. It's worth the expense. It's a business expense, okay? We're in business and it's a business expense. It's $5 handled, okay? Now, the next thing that you can do is there's a, video, a lot of video game music players out there where it plays a lot of video game music, okay? Now, video game music is pretty under the radar when it comes to music copyright stuff. It's not super legit. Uh, because it's not actually licensed from the creators, but, it, but it's so underground and gray area that no one's really fighting to have people stop using old video game music in their video content, okay? It's just, it's, it's, a, it's a worthless battle legally, so no one's really fighting for that, and it's just, you can get away with it. If you wanna do that, you can, I do it. I do it, here and there, you know? I mean, it's old video game music, whatever. Now, the other option is there's these uh, copyright free playlists that are out there. Now, can you always trust them? As a business person, I say no. I say make sure that it, unless it's curated through you or if it's from an official source like Monster Cat and there's like an already clear deal with them and Twitch or something major like that, like these exist, but you don't know if it's all copyright free or not. Um, there might be some legit sources out there, but you can find them. And those are pretty much the options, okay? Uh, the, the, the last option being you could do whatever the hell you want. You don't care about muted VODs. You don't care about the risk of copyright strikes and all that kind of stuff. But, uh, and you could just play whatever uh, and ride it out till the end because there's still time. You know, it's not, they're not cracking down that hard, but it will come, okay? Now, here's the thing. The, the, the really cool thing about getting involved in the world of independent music and bringing that into your stream and solving all of your copyright problems and promoting all these cool small people that are trying to do something special with themselves, right? Um, on top of all that, what really happens is you are now networking outside the world of Twitch, right? In Twitch, networking is great, but now you've found a whole nother world that is relevant to this world in every way, right? And now you're networking within that. Now you've, you, it's kind of like, humanity leaving earth and going to mars right if 
Earth blows up, or at least we still have humans on Mars. That's the idea, right? It's kind of like that. You need to get yourself in two worlds here. You can network really hard in the world of music. And I'm not saying if Twitch fails, you could work in music, but what I am saying is that you are getting yourself, your name out there in two different worlds, and that's nothing but good for you as the streamer, right? There's some prominent people that you might meet because you made a name for yourself in the world of independent music and people come to you to be heard. And it's a really cool extra element for everyone watching. They get to, what's really cool is you'll develop a thing where every song that plays, no one's really ever heard it before. It's something special that's playing, right? And you'll just be a whole new area of music for people. Um, that's about all I have to say how you could solve these problems. I've covered it as much as I could. There's an article down below in the description if you guys want to read more in depth about my thoughts on this subject. I wrote a really long article detailing how you guys can do this. Um, and uh, it's, you know, I think it's pretty good because I really think people should follow this. Now, if anyone has any other thoughts on this subject and you guys want to discuss this with me, please hit me up in the comments below. Tell me what you think about what's going on in this world of music and how and on Twitch and, and what your solutions are or how you do it or whatever. Whatever you want to talk about about this about the subject, hit me up. And if you want to talk off platform, Twitter, Discord, whatever you want, okay? All right, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like the video and you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much.